What's better than one big elemental miniature? Spiky bits. Welcome back, hobby maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we've got the latest and greatest today for you from Creature Caster. Uh, they sent us their new Void Elemental miniature, which is like a continuation of the Elemental series, I suppose. It's basically the Lady version of Death, I guess, uh, and it's uh, it's pretty dope looking, to be quite honest. So we've got it here. It's even it's even look it's even labeled. Wow, look at that. And we're gonna unbox it and build it for you guys today. So here's the showcase of the painted model. It looks like it was painted by Taylor Holloway at Zombie Kid Studios. And they obviously did a great job with this miniature. I mean, it just it slaps. I mean, look at this thing with all the highlighting and the shading and everything on it. And it seems like, you know, I don't want to belittle the paint job, but it, it seems like that's a more e easily obtainable paint job for a lot of people out there. And it's quite stunning at the same exact time. Um, and there's some close-ups of the actual model itself. It always looks better with some paint on it. So I was really glad to see this over on their Instagram. There's the back with that portal, just like we saw with the Death Elemental. Of course, this is basically the female version of the Death Elemental. It's called the Void. Yeah, Void, Death, I get it. And then jumping into the product page itself, again, the painting, <laughs> painting picture of the miniature here and then lots of other uh, pictures of it as well. It gives you some idea of the scale. It looks to be, I thought I had the scale on here. Maybe not, I thought I saw it. There it is, 151 millimeters tall. The base is 80 millimeter round, which you actually don't see that much, so that's really cool. Um, just to give you an idea of some of the parts in here, which we're about to show you, that's the first kit. And you can see the, uh, the torso right there, the torso and head looks to be takes up a very large part there and then the base the portal or the void portal and things like that and then here's an idea of scale right here so going up to 151 you know duders are roughly what do they got this pegged at three 40, 40 millimeters give or take give or take depending on what well, well we'll compare it to a like a space marine primaris or something like that right here but they are available right now for sale they also have a deal if you bundle with the death elemental which was the uh, dude version of this. I think we have a graphic here. Yep, we got a graphic here. Uh, up until November 9th, you can get them at 15% off, which is pretty pretty decent savings. I mean, if they're if they're going for 75 bucks, that's uh, well, you know, about 10, 11 ish off of uh, off your total purchase right there. And if you get both, of course, it's going to be 11 times two. So give or take about 22 dollars US in savings if you get both of them. So if you missed out on the first one, now might be a good time to bundle up. Well, I'm actually glad that we looked up all those parts over on their site because, uh, well, I wouldn't have had any idea what any of this is, but now I have a way better, more gooder, is that a word, uh, idea of all the parts in here. Now, if you haven't seen how they ship their stuff, this is basically it. It's cool. Of course, it comes inside bubbles, inside a, an exterior box as well. Uh, these used to be black, but uh, it looks like they got some thicker bubbles right here, which I, I won't complain about for sure. Let's see if they're, yeah, they are resealable. So everything is pretty f snug fit into these and where, where uh, there's little dainty parts and things like that, they are gonna separate them and put them in baggies in some cases, uh, just to kind of protect them a little bit more. Not that they super need it, the resin's very strong and, and not, you know, not brittle or anything like that, but you, you definitely don't want things bumping around. The more you can secure and pack things, the less they're gonna get damaged in shipping. Now, here's all the parts laid out, and I didn't flip them all right side up, but you can see that there are numbers on there. They do put out assembly instructions. Don't come, doesn't come with the box, but they are generally on their uh, community page. Also, you can get a better idea of the parts layout, of course, on the, on the product page itself. But this will kind of give you a general idea. And, you know, for the most part, everything kind of slots and fits together pretty well from everything we've seen throughout the years. Now, I didn't pick up looking at those parts just really quick that there's two different face plates, which I'm going to show you uh, in here. I think they're right here. And also two different full sets of weapons like the scythes, which I think the little hook things are over here for one and here for the other. And then these uh, crazy like elemental void kind of brazers uh, that I guess you can either put them both in the same, you know, in off hands or use the both, both for the same weapon, whatever you want, uh, whatever look you're going for, uh, I think you'll definitely be pretty happy with it. So overall, not a lot of parts at all. And they're, they've all come, you know, still attached to the sprues and everything like that. So I think that those, uh, those new big clear bubbles are definitely helping. 
Now let's take a look at how crisp these parts are because I had to turn down the contrast a little bit just to pop that detail out. And you can see once we pull it up a little close to camera, you know, inside this void area, there's just a, there's a bunch of like beings or those, those little minion kind of people or something. I don't know if they're jumping in there or they're trying to come out or I don't know what's going on. But either way, they're just kind of hanging out doing their thing and there's like random stuff going on in here. I think some of these are assembly perhaps points but then some of these are yeah that's not a face but that's definitely a face right there kind of creepy that you can see all that and then like I said in the back they always have really good attachment points and things not only do they have like a little area to kind of have uh, like when you put glue in there sometimes if there's no area for it to expand into it's it's kind of bad uh, what actually goes I guess she attaches to it yeah she attaches to it so they have those open nubs right there to sometimes kind of help with that um, and of course this isn't going to line up because all the gates are still on it, but you can see the nice crisp detail in all of this and believe it or not Those are actually skulls which we could see in the picture now I can't see it with my naked eye and I definitely can't see it with uh, Through the camera right here and if I get too close I lose it with the uh, with the shadow But I don't know if you could even make those out. Let me see if I can make them out with them. I can make them out with the naked eye so you can definitely tell those are those are skulls right there. It's just, uh, maybe we should zoom in a little bit because that's just crazy how, oh yeah, there you go. Now we can see it. Okay, that's just crazy how super small they can get with the detail on this right there, that they're, they're her actual like clothing or I don't even know if that's clothes. Does this qualify as clothing? When you're an ethereal being, do you even have clothes? Do you even clothe, bro? I don't know anymore. But uh, it's crazy that they get the detail on that and then you can see all the little swirlies. Kind of reminds me of like a, uh, I don't know, like a more macabre version of like uh, Witchblade, so to speak, if you read comics back in the day. But uh, but there you can see it's got the two different versions of the head, which has a face that kind of continues that Witchblade look or straight up death, because it's basically a death elemental, like we said earlier. Um, but detail wise, I mean, all this stuff is super crisp. Their bases are always the best. Now, I don't know how any of this attaches quite yet. It looks like there's a nub right there and a slot, right? Or a slot and a nub. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, legs and everything. Oh, she only has one leg, so this probably goes on here. Something. Something and things. That's a high kick for sure. Oh, yep, there we go. So, pretty seamless. Definitely goes together very well. Um, and all the swirlies, like I said, they have all sorts of spooky faces. So obviously a very timely release, seeing as how we're uh, in full on spooky season, about to go full spook here soon. I don't know where this little skeleton thing goes. I assume it locks in somewhere, but we'll find out. Don't exactly know where all that goes. Maybe it's her headdress. Oh, I bet you it's her headdress. That's the ticket. That's where it goes. Okay, so lots of stuff to kind of uh, disseminate and take a look at. Oh, and check out these weapons. These are very tight too. I really like how they did this. And you can do all sorts of like glow effects and things and some faux metals or some dark metals on here and really make it pop like uh, like that one promo picture they have on uh, the product page. So, whew. all right, let's see what it looks like assembled. Okay, here she is. So we're zoomed in a little bit because I wanted to show off all that great detail that they got going on in this miniature. It's just insane. And I think that's why that paint job looks so great because honestly, if you spend the time painting every little detail on this, and don't get me wrong, you can, but I think the, the, the style that their product shot is painted in is perfect for this because it, it it's death. It's basically darkness and, you know, light and all those things. So it's really cool. And I like this head here. This is my favorite head, obviously, because, well, that's the, that's the death head, basically. And this veil back here is crazy. Lots of little, I guess it's not necessarily, it's a hair and then a veil or something, but it's got these like faux winglets with like little elemental inscriptions on them. And then there you can see the flayed uh, rib cage uh, crown sort of thing and the, the burning skulls on the, uh, the back of that uh, veil right there it's all crazy like the detail is just off the chain and all the smoke detail in here now don't you know don't mind the gaps and things like that we're just going fast when we get these put together uh for the video because you know it's a kind of irresponsible amount of time to waste a bunch of hours on this when you already know it's like going to be super tight tolerances and it's going to go together pretty well so uh, if you ever have something like this you can just use a little bit of uh resin putty from 
um, or plastic putty from Vallejo or super thin glue would seal all that up. And a lot of, in a lot of cases, once you get primer on it, once you get paint on it, you're not even going to notice it to be quite honest. Uh, same with these gaps here. Uh, this could have been done a little bit better, but like I said, you know, we're just on a deadline. So sometimes it's like that and you just got to go with what you got. And here you can kind of see a little bit better how it attaches to the base. Um, just kind of spooky and up off of that and then it's built in these sections which gives it a lot of strength here in these two part sections instead of just a split right here it's going to give that uh, kind of that longer support across more surface area which then allows you know for a lot more strength especially on the front and back right there and on the bottom of this portal and then there's all the portal with all the faces and everything and you can kind of see those spots i was like oh i think you know some little wisp and things go higher because uh at various places they do indeed so you can with all the images on their site you can definitely get this together pretty easily for the most part i think um i don't think you'll have any any real problems with it and the difference between the weapon arms is right there at the socket like i said you can have one of each in each hand or both like uh, this one right here of course and then you can also give it the lady face or the death face just going off the general dimensions about six inches depending on where you choose to measure from remember there's the 80 millimeter base on this and how does that compare to some other stuff you might have a better idea of how big it is well there's a primary space marine so that should give you a little bit of a clue i can tell you right off the bat this is very similar in size to a uh the new satan model from uh games workshop for necron so very similar sized to that and then something else that's on a bigger base i think these are 110 as opposed to 80 but here's how big a lord of change or basically any of the greater demons i think at this point although the Sleneshian one is very similar in size uh to the void elemental but the other three obviously are going to be on larger bases and various you know i think the bloodthirster is about this size but then you know the great unclean one's going to be a little bit chonkier but not quite as tall you get what i'm saying but either way there's definitely some play to be had for this as an alternate miniature in games like Warhammer 40k or, of course, Age of Sigmar if you really wanted it. Um, but you could also, you know, just paint it up to use as whatever because they're great boutique miniatures that, you know, are artisanally crafted by hand. There's no, like, huge production process on this or anything like that. They literally make each of these by hand. Uh, there at their uh, studio in uh, Canada. So it's kind of crazy when you think about the, you know, from design to the end result of something like this to get it into our hands to help, to, you know, spread the word and tell you guys about it as well. But uh, another go great, gorgeous miniature from Creature Caster. Can't wait to see what they do next. It feels like every miniature they come on with, I'm usually pretty excited about for the most part. I think uh, it's. I'd probably put it in 90% or so because they always have uh, the dopest looking stuff out there in, in the scale that's usable on the tabletop, I feel like. So that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching uh, this unbox and build of the new Creature Caster Void Elemental. It's on sale right meow over at their site uh, for $75. And of course, uh, for the next week or so, of course, this being uh, right around the time it was launched, uh, you can get that bundle with the Death Elemental for 15% off, which is, you know, roughly $11 savings on each of the miniatures for roughly $22 total, I suppose. Um, so hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. So you can be the very first to like and follow or see all of our future videos. If you liked that video feature, consider supporting us over at patreon.com and get back in the mail each month a miniature crate full of some of the stuff we review here as well as some of the top 3D artist designs out there too to help support what they're doing. Plus, discount coupon codes from some of those same manufacturers. They're yours to keep whether you cancel or stay on. Just it's totally up to you. Obviously, we want to keep you as happy as possible. So check it out over at patreon.com forward slash spikybits.